Hello friends, welcome to my channel. I am Bijal Ohar. We are starting our Cisco practical with this session. We will discuss and configure every practical in each session. If you are a beginner of Cisco field, do subscribe and keep watching every session. It will definitely help you to build your Cisco baseline. So let's start with the topic. Uh, before any configuration, we must have some basic knowledge about router. So first of all, we will discuss in this session what is router, how does it works, and uh, what are the com components, what uh, what thing we should know about router. So I'm going to start. What is router? So you can define router as router is a layer 3 device capable of forwarding an IP packet one network to another network using best possible route. There are multiple points in this sentence that router is a layer 3 device. It means it's a network layer device capable of forwarding an IP packet one network to another network. So it forward IP packet one network to another network instead of host to host it forward packet one network to another network it doesn't deliver the packet to the computer but it forward packet to one network to another network and the second thing is router uses routing table to find best route router up router forward an ip packet using best possible route but how does router finds the best possible route router uses routing table to find best route and how that uh, routing table built up that's a routing table can be statically defined by the router administrator that is called static method or router can use routing protocols to build routing table automatically like rip reversion 2 igrp eigrp and ospf so router can forward an ip packet one network to another network using best route and best route is selected from the routing table and the routing table can be statically defined by the administrator or by the routing protocol like rip route routing information protocol routing information protocol version 2 interior gateway routing protocol protocol eigrp enhanced inter in interior gateway routing protocol and open shortest path first etc so next thing is how router looks like as you can see here, it's a Cisco 2600 series router. It looks like this. As you can see here, there is nothing much to see from the front side. But at the back side, there are some ports we can see here. And we will discuss about, uh, about every port and what are the uses. So next thing we should know about the router is router component. What are the component? physical component in router and what are they and why they are used in router. So first of all CPU, CPU as you know that CPU is the central processing unit of any computing device as it is a core component of router responsible for execution of instruction that is command given by the operating system and control all the components connected with the router board. So router is also like a computer and it also use a CPU which is responsible for execution of commands or instruction given by the operating system and it also responsible for controlling all the device or component connected with the router board. And the second thing is, things is ROM that is read only memory and it is responsible for managing post that is power on self test and contains basic iOS of router. It contains basic iOS like in our, our computer there is a BIOS program it also contains the basic iOS of router. So next component is RAM. We also use RAM in our computer and it contains all running configuration or running process of router so the fourth component is nvram it contains all startup configuration or you can say it is just like hard disk in our computer it can it contain all startup configuration or we can say that it contains all manual configuration done by the router administrator a part of 
base iOS system. And the fifth component is flash memory. It contains Cisco IIS image. Actual operating system is contained by flash memory. So the next component is RX boot image. It is the location in RAM. Sorry, it's ROM, which contain base iOS system. So we have seen here that uh, the ROM contain, as you can see here, ROM contain basic iOS of router and inside room there is rx boot image it is the location in room which contain base ios system next component is interface there are multiple type of in, uh, interface available in router as well as we can add add-on card to connect router with the other device so router also contain different type of interface and the eighth component is power supply like every device need power supply supply section to operate and the ninth component is buses as we know that buses are the route or path uh, up uh, a circuit board it it, it it interconnect all router components and the last one is configuration register it defines how to boot like uh, boot, uh, how to boot your router OS whether it is from Cisco IS or from TFT server so router basically use this 10 component to operate and the next thing we will know here is as you can see here this is the internal the uh, internal uh, scene of uh, router this is a 2600 series router as you can see here we have discussed earlier that it contain power supply having RAM this is the CPU and this is flash memory and this is room so it looks like this inside router and if we are going to see the physical interface of Cisco router we will see that it contain a serial port it is also called WIC port or WIC slot which used to connect one router to another router as well as with WAN connection and the second type of interface we can uh, we can uh, find in uh, a router that is Ethernet port that is the most common interface which is used to connect LAN switch with your router and the another interface is console port which is basically used to configure your iOS you, we can access router iOS from console port in our system and we use hyper terminal to uh, operate operate router operating system through console port so next one is auxiliary port it is used to connect modem device with router and otherwise power supply code which is the power input for the router so power switch is used to on, turn on or off your router device so how does it looks like as you can see here here is the serial port there are two different type of serial ports which is used to connect wide area connection or one router to another router as you can see there are two fast ethernet port that is the LAN port and here is the console port which is used to access router operating system in your computer and this is the auxiliary port which will be used for the modem connection and this is power switch, uh, switch and this is the power code connection so we will uh, continue with, uh, our, with our practical session in our next video we have just uh, made a brief knowledge about router so keep watching our channel and if you like this video keep share with your friends and do subscribe to our channel we will continue with the first chapter of router configuration in our next video till then Bye-bye.